Thank you, Tim. So I'll be talking about power star voltage optimization, introduce you to voltage optimization, uh, why do we need voltage optimization, where to implement voltage optimization, the benefits, and some case studies. So I'll try to wrap that up today for you and give you a good understanding. Voltage optimization has been around for a long time and a lot of people don't understand voltage optimization and we'll work through that today and we can work through that separately as we uh, uh, talk to each other privately. But voltage optimization is old technology. It's been around for over a hundred years in regards to running at the right amount of voltage for your design specification. We don't look at going below. We want to run at the right design specification for the correct voltage. There are numerous parties out there that look at voltage optimization, Siemens being one of them. Siemens have introduced voltage optimization as one of their 10 significant energy saving programs, along with LED lighting, along with uh, HVAC controls, refrigeration controls, along with variable speed drives. It is a, a technology that needs to be considered in the top 10 practical uses and can be as a solution for low hanging fruit on refrigeration systems, on complete building systems. Why do we need voltage optimization? PowerStar, as I say, has been around for a long time. 2001 has been manufactured. We have over 7,500 units now installed around the world. We have significant installations in Australia. And PowerStar is the product. EMSC is the manufacturer of the product. And EMSC, the PowerStar product, is manufactured in the UK. So fully manufactured UK, great quality, up in Sheffield where they make great alloys and steels and we are an engineering led company. We're all engineers in the company, we're not a marketing company. We engineer the solution, we look at every site specifically to give the correct solution to that site for the best benefit. And not every site will benefit, there's some sites that are running at the correct voltage. So you won't see any energy savings from voltage optimization, but you would see power quality improvements. We have significant installations all around the world and in Australia. Hyatt Hotel, Crown Casino, we've got Coles installations, we've got Woolworths installations, Woolworth DCs, uh, Sky City, University of Melbourne. University of Melbourne are on their third phase of voltage optimisation implementation. They've done significant testing. Please have a look on our website. You'll see uh, energy savings through voltage optimisation tests done on LED lighting. You'll see it done on various speed drives and uh, independent, done by the University of Melbourne. So please have a look at those. There's other technology out there that boasts to be voltage optimization. They're really voltage stabilizers. They're really voltage regulators. They're a two wound transformer technology with high losses. Some of them do it quite efficient, but most of them are, have high losses, so they're not as efficient. PowerStar is unique as a voltage optimizer. PowerStar has patented technology and has a worldwide patented technology on the, uh, the technology which we'll cover. Continuing on with significant installations, we've got West Australian Parliament fully powered by PowerStar. So it's reliable technology. It's passive technology, no moving parts. It has a life cycle of 30 years plus and it'll deliver savings for that period of time. Uh, Palace of Westminster, we have significant buildings out there. Uh, all cabinets building in the UK. Also, Ski Dubai, powered by PowerStar. So we talk about refrigeration. Uh, majority of the energy, Ski Dubai. All going through PowerStar voltage optimization and saving significant amounts of energy. Why do we need voltage optimization? Most of us accept what the utilities deliver to us because we think they're doing the right thing. And there's certain tolerances out there, and they do deliver in those tolerances, but there's also uh, times when they come out of tolerance but if they're even, even if they're in their tolerance, they deliver voltage at times too high. They'll deliver voltage spikes when they're switching at the substations. They'll deliver transients when switching at the substation. There's transients coming out of your neighbor's facility and going into your facility, damaging your equipment, damaging uh, the power quality going into your site, causing you to use more energy. The utilities will deliver to the best of their ability but it is not perfect, please remember that. So what we tend to do is we want to give you the correct power supply, the correct voltage supply to your site. We don't want to go under supply, we don't want to go over supply with voltage. 
With over voltage supply, what will it do to your equipment? Well, firstly, electric motors, they'll run hotter with no additional performance. So that excess energy is used as heat and it'll fatigue. The life cycle of that equipment will fatigue and run shorter. With, uh, and you'll be up for capital replacement. R&M will go up. Your maximum demand will go up because you're using more energy. Your total power bill goes up. So your total energy cost, your total facility maintenance, running costs increase. Your capital costs increase, so your depreciation increases. So it's a bundled situation you have with being overpowered. What PowerStar would like to do for your facilities, as we do on the other 7,500 sites around the world, is deliver you the correct voltage to your site for your equipment. Some sites may want to have equipment running at 228 volts because the equipment is further down the track for your main switchboard and you have a voltage drop. We look at giving you the specific energy for your equipment. Your equipment today is designed to run between 220 and 230 volts per phase unless it's pre-1982 when the Australian standard for nominal voltage was 240 volts. Currently it's 230 volts so and your equipment is actually manufactured to run between 220 and 230 volts per phase. With giving you the correct voltage on site your equipment will last at expected life expectancy. Your lighting will last at expected life expectancy. It won't give you additional light that's now being overpowered. An example, simple example, is a halogen 50 watt halogen lamp at uh, uh, extra two and a half volts. It's running at 55 watts instead of 50 watts. As an example, that's a lineal load. So the life cycle will reduce on that equipment because it's being overpowered. What is voltage optimization? PowerStar has two methods of voltage optimization. We have uh, fixed voltage optimization and we have optimized electronic dynamic voltage optimization. On our top scale there on the graph, we can see we've got an average voltage of 247 volts, and that's typical of Australia. We do see it a lot higher at times. We see it up to 260. They can deliver it to you legally for indefinite period of time at 253 to give you some idea of what the utilities can deliver. We've, done, we've shown a 20 volt reduction there, so with fixed voltage reduction. So now we've got a, a ratio from incoming voltage of a 20 volt drop, and that's what we call fixed voltage optimization. Electronic dynamic voltage optimization gives you a user-defined voltage output anywhere between 220 up to 235 volts if required. And you can alter that voltage output with PowerStar voltage optimization without any interference to or without any disruption to power at all. So it's user-defined, adjustable by uh, GSM, adjustable by BMS systems, adjustable uh, on site. We talked about the average voltage in Australia, as we can see, it's 247 volts and up to the upper limit at 253 and down to 216. The reason I show this graph is it's very important we don't want to be going below what the national standard is and we don't want to be going below that 216 volts because that's the, that's the parameter. We look to run between that 220 and 230 volts where your equipment is designed to run at. PowerStar is unique. PowerStar is a, the only voltage optimizer in the world with a patent. And the patent is in our third winding, and we'll get into that detail. Our competitors' products, uh, any voltage stabilizer, voltage regulator, is a simple two wound transformer with high losses, as mentioned previously. Here we can see we've got a star winding, a delta winding, and another star winding. The first star winding looks at mitigating harmonic distortion on our standard product, our triple wound product, we can mitigate harmonic distortion on the first, third, fifth and seventh triplins uh, of up to 50%. We can go up to 90% with another design parameter if required to. Now those harmonics are giving you additional current usage so your power quality is distorted and you are using more energy. Delta suppresses harmonics further. The final star winding is where we do the voltage reduction. Within the transformer itself we look at inducing a negative infeed voltage into the incoming supply. There's our three phases coming in. There are our taps on our PowerStar transformer and we induce a negative infeed voltage. What does that do? It sounds good but what does it really do? 
In layman's terms, we create a back EMF. The back EMF is this negative infeed voltage back into the transformer itself, where we manipulate the sine wave 180 degrees to the incoming sine wave. So that's your 50 hertz frequency incoming. We induce a negative infeed. 180 degrees to the incoming for the voltage reduction required only. So very low impedance. And this is where we get the additional savings with PowerStar. Anybody can reduce the voltage with a, a uh, voltage stabiliser, voltage regulator, and give you energy efficiency on the equipment out in the field. That's, they can all do that. There'll be certain losses within the transformer that may uh, balance out some of those savings they're getting out in the field, but your equipment now will run at its specification and give you savings, no arguments whatsoever. PowerStar will give you additional savings. 70 to 80% of our savings come from this painted technology, back EMF, negative infeed voltage. That's the technology, that's where we are unique against any of our competitors and we have the world patent on that. So when we look at the uh, Office of Environment, great document, uh, gentlemen, thank you for releasing that last Friday on voltage optimization. There, up there, it's being. It talks about various technologies, what's applicable, what's not applicable, and it also talks about what uh, you need to be looking for as a guide. Uh, so please look at those parameters when you're looking at voltage optimization, because PowerStar will deliver energy savings on various we drives. PowerStar will deliver energy savings on. Uh, electric mode switch gear. PowerStar will deliver savings on LED lighting, on electronics, and it's due to the back EMF technology within the transformer itself. PowerStar has been tested independently by the Warwick University, and they looked at that uh, back EMF and they deemed it as power being induced as feedback power to the source. Virtually, this power can be considered as power generated from the load side. So we're actually creating a negative in feed which is reducing your current, reducing your volts within that transformer itself and delivering you the energy savings. We see a lot of issues out there on the grid and part of those are in regards to transients, voltage spikes, and those voltage spikes can damage your equipment, particularly expensive electronics. PowerStar will protect you up to 25,000 volts of transients. Harmonic distortion we covered briefly. PowerStar will mitigate harmonic distortion on uh, triple and harmonics. Phase imbalance, absolute balance voltage across all three phases on voltage, which will help you in the current aspect on your voltage. If you have current that is well out of balance, you then need to f change those loads physically. Also, poor power factor. If you have uh, poor power factor, let's say it's 0.8, uh, we can improve power factor by up to 20%, so you find it'll go up to 0.95. You may not need power factor correction equipment then. We are definitely not power factor correction equipment, but we can certainly improve power factor by up to 20%. Here's a case in a supermarket where we saw uh, harmonic distortion up around the 70% total harmonic distortion, and we brought that back down by 50% to a total harmonic distortion of under 50%. Still quite high, but the improvement is there. How does voltage optimization help? Well. One is power quality, obviously, we've just covered. The other part of it is, is energy efficiency. And we've heard about regression analysis and IPMVP. PowerStar uses IPMVP uh, to verify the savings and also to look at uh, the guaranteed savings we would give our clients. So we guarantee our savings 100%. So we're conservative in what we tell our clients because we don't want to be uh, paying out on our guarantee. How do we do that? We look at the baseline. We develop a baseline through IVMPV, regression analysis, and we forecast the usage. We then look at that consumption, actual consumption. We also have a delta. That delta is the savings percentage. It takes in all the variables on site. Uh, it takes in temperatures, daylight hours, etc., and any other variables <coughs> the client wants to tell us. For a preliminary, uh, for, for the actual proposal, we do that to get the guaranteed savings. After 28 days or uh, 90 days or 12 months, if the client has a question about their energy savings, we'll do the IPMVP for those clients and show them the savings. And if we have not achieved our savings, we'll do a payout on a return on investment for that client. That's how 
uh, confident we are with our product and the uh, engineering solution we give our clients, very important, uh, we can guarantee our uh, proposal to our clients. Some people ask me, do you get savings on everything? I'll say no, we don't. There's some sites where we uh, don't get any savings due to the voltage already being, let's say, at 225 volts or 220 volts or down to 228 volts, so the opportunity is minimal. But there are, uh, equ there is equipment out there that will give you very good savings. Electric motors, induction load will give you very good savings. And if you have a resistive load that's running 24-7 without a th thermostat, very good savings. Uh, well, those are far and few between, but very good savings. Lighting, any high pressure lamps, any uh, LEDs, any uh, fluorescence, compact fluorescence uh, lighting will get very good savings. Where we don't get savings is with DC motors. We don't get any savings with high frequency equipment, so high frequency battery charges, high frequency lighting. Electronic ballasts on lightings will get savings, but if it's high frequency, we won't. Uh, so it's, you need to understand the, the type of equipment on site. Part of our uh, engineering solution is to do a site survey. When we get down to the engineering side of the product, we will look at what the eligible equipment is on site, what the non-eligible equipment is on site. We note all that down for the client and we present that to the client. So we show them where their savings will come from. Here we have a 30 kilowatt motor, benchtop test, direct online. We have a 9% voltage reduction and we follow the broken lines please, that's Australian voltage and we have a lightly loaded motor or sorry a no loaded motor we have a 23% energy saving with a 9% volt reduction also lightly loaded we're still at 13% energy savings even at heavily loaded we're just under 10% energy savings on a 30 kilowatt motor, that's typical the, the average energy savings we see on full facilities and let it be a, a hospital or let it be a cold store or a, a high-rise building the average volt average energy savings we see on site is between 12 and 15 percent we have some cases where it's up to above 20 percent there's a few out there but we also have a few at eight percent but those ROIs are still good because I, their con kilowatt hour consumption cost may be high and their con also their consumption is also high, so their ROIs are good. PowerStar offers real-time monitoring, so you can look at the actual uh, power quality, consumption, your voltage reduction, across numerous parameters, even through to harmonics on current and voltage. You can put that on GM at GSM, you can have it in your intranet, you can IP address it, have it on your internet, so you can communicate it to it, you can make it master or slave, you can control your voltage output at any time you need to, if you need to adjust it. So it'll store energy, uh, store all the data for up to eight years, and it'll look at, typically look at the data storage capacity based on an average of every two minutes data stored every 10 minutes. But the actual data on there is live, you can look at it instantaneously. Where do you optimise voltage? We, PowerStar offers two solutions, on the HV side or the LV side. With the LV side, we have PowerStar uh, Light, that's our fixed voltage optimisation, and we have PowerStar Max, which is our dynamic voltage optimisation. We can also do it on the HV side, where we use a super low loss, super low loss amorphous core technology for the transformer with integrated voltage optimisation. Again, fully dynamic, hence the max word in there, which is the uh, user-defined voltage output. So we see this product's been around now for uh, three years, and we have some very good installations and more coming online at the, as we speak. And uh, significant savings, you will see additional savings from the transformer core technology plus the voltage optimization. Again, another world patent. Here we have a LV installation. This is a 1,000 kVA PowerStar unit. Uh, a fixed unit. Main utility owned transformer. We can see that we've now put the PowerStar unit direct through in series with a main incoming supply back to the board. So we're looking at conditioning the full power supply for that building. That's quite typical. When we look at the HV installations, 
One of the consideration points is the age of the current transformers. If your transformer is quite old, it's probably quite inefficient due to the losses in there, not due to its age, but to when it was actually manufactured and the quality of the iron core at that time when it was manufactured and the quality of the copper. So if the, the older the transformer, obviously the less pure the metals and the copper are, so your losses are quite high. PowerStar uses super low loss amorphous core, hence you get additional savings on the transformer. So if you're looking at a greenfield site, and you've got a HV uh, supply, PowerStar HV Max will look after your power quality, your correct voltage output, and deliver you savings on the transformer technology. If you're retrofitting older transformers that are now at end of life, please do consider the PowerStar HV Max. It is a superior product, again, fully manufactured in the UK and fully supported here in Australia by EMSC. This uh, graph here shows regression analysis, IPMVP, on a PowerStar HV Max installation. These lumps here represent a week. The red line is the regression analysis. This point here, we did the changeover of the PowerStar HV Max from the old transformer and we saw a 5.4% energy saving just on the amorphous core technology. We then ran it for three weeks, did the verification. Then we energized the voltage optimization and got a further 13.8% energy saving. So total nine, over 19% energy saving on a PowerStar HV Max, not unusual, based on the typical voltages we see in Australia. This is in a supermarket, a large supermarket. So I say, average savings on the LV gear, between 12 and 15%, on the HV gear, even higher. PowerStar also stand by the product. Uh, 15 year warranty, which includes all parts and labor. Uh, we guarantee the energy savings uh, so your return on investment is guaranteed. We look at the, the engineering solutions for your facility and we stand by what we say with our product. Case studies, Mondelez, uh, down Scoresby, Victoria, 12% energy saving, two 1000 KVA units being installed there at that time, those photos were taken. Palais Hotel in South Australia, 10%, uh, 10.5% energy saving, return on investment, payback period under three years. Bob. Kerpluck, the general manager, uh, keeps ringing us up and comments to us that how thankful he is while his adjoining businesses have power failures and interruptions during uh, lightning strikes in the neighbourhood. Uh, his poker machines and his facility is still operating while everybody else in the neighbourhood's down. That's a repetitive phone call I get quite regularly from Bob, and you're welcome to talk to Bob if you need to. Swire Cold Storage, they've put in over 10 installations and uh, this one here at Laverton saw an energy saving of 13%, 20 volt reduction, LED lights, variable speed drives, so state of the art facility, brand spanking new and they put in voltage optimization and still got a further 13% energy saving. As to supermarkets, recommend PowerStar, they have over 800 units now installed in the UK, they're part of Walmart and they've got our PowerStar lights, our PowerStar Maxes, our PowerStar HV Max and also the PowerStar Virtue which you would have heard about earlier this morning from John. Case study here, Sheffield Hallam University, very interesting one this one, is that they had an energy saving of 16%, great. They also had a maximum demand reduction of 19%. So if you're on a KVA tariff, even if you're on a, any demand tariff, very applicable. Uh, reduction in lamp failure, 75%. That actually paid for the PowerStar unit that was installed in one and a half years. Don't worry about the other two lines, but in, after installation, that 75% in lamp reduction paid for the PowerStar unit in one and a half years. National Health Systems uh, Service in the UK, multiple units installed. This one here is showing 12%, under three years payback period. Manufacturing, Charles F. Steed, uh, leather manufacturers, 20.7% energy saving. Uh, before PowerStar, after PowerStar. Verified by IPMVP, that's how we do our verification. London City Hall, very interesting one on this one. We've got a 13.6% energy saving. Again, IPMVP verification. Up here they've got 500 kilowatts of solar PV. Their solar PV improved by 10% after voltage optimization went in due to the fact now that the inverters were running at their correct voltage uh, output, 
so part of the uh, inverter curve, and now running at the correct voltage output. So the output in improved, so there was a, a further benefit. VO and solar do go hand in hand. Just coming to the end, uh, British Telecom. So if you look at servers and exchanges, British Telecom do recommend PowerStar. N Power, one of the largest utilities in the in UK and Germany, recommend PowerStar, and they looked at PowerStar product against two other competitor products and found that PowerStar outperformed the other competitors in every way in regards to power factor, harmonic distortion, and energy savings. Also, Melbourne University, uh, the <coughs> Masters Electrician Association, uh, excellence award for PowerStar through one of our distributors down there, where we saw an uh, installation there of 12 actual savings of 12% in the law building. Guaranteed saving was 10%. So as I say about the guaranteed savings, we're conservative in what we say to the client because we want to see the actual number higher. So payback period under four years. Regression analysis, that's how we crunch our numbers. I don't expect to explain that to you today, but that's how we crunch the numbers through IP MVP. So very thorough. That's a 1150 KVA unit, dynamic unit installed there at the University of Melbourne. Also, they had a uh, building, it's the actual spot building in Melbourne, Carlton, Parkville, where we achieved 23% energy saving. This is the jewel in their crown. They spent over $5 million just designing the facade on this building, let alone building it. And they came to us and said, look, we've got every, everything on VSDs, we've got LED lighting, we've got uh, compact fluoros, we've got high frequency fluoros. Uh, what can you save for us? So, so we were conservative from what we did. We told them 10.5% and we actually got 23% energy saving through PowerStar. And the reason being, the average voltage was 249 volts on that site. If we look at the raw data, it was actually nearly 26% energy saving. So thank you.